Bring up my neighbor, Gwen Hollander. She's my big girl, little women. She's 80. She's also been my friend for 15 years, you guys. It's a weird thing when you're like a Broadway New York girl transplanting to New York. There's a huge mass exodus, by the way, of us now. There's how many of us, like 50 people that we were friends with? It's a lot, but you should on the day of the earthquake, the, the great St. Patrick's Day quake of, 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 of Ot 14. Ot 14. Yes. <laughs> we were all freaked out. That was my first earthquake ever. Um, and we were all huddled together in our pajamas with our dogs on our laps. We decided to go to Starbucks at 6 a.m. Everyone in the building. Because we're cool. Um, Gwen and I walk our dogs together every morning about 8, well I do at 8, yeah. and then we walk again at 12 and Gwen wakes up. Um, <laughs> seriously, she's like so late. I have like wake up from 8.07 and 8.13, I know that's specific, but that's when I wake up every day. And um, she's like 12, and it's great. My dog gets an afternoon walk. However, she told me last week that she started having weird dreams about me. You should tell them. She's like, really? No, okay. Well, the, 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 okay, the Cliff Notes version of the first dream was essentially that Kate was trying to pressure me into having a threesome. Um, and she brought me to What her, does that mean she thinks of me, you guys? Sexual predatory. <laughs> so she brought me into her childhood bedroom, which was decorated all with ballerinas. There was like ballerina wallpaper and with a matching ballerina comforter. And it was, there were like multiracial uh, ballerinas. Like it was a very peaceful. from Broadway Bar, and it sent out a Facebook notification to all of Facebook being like, one Hollander has been removed from Broadway Bar Disney, and then she wouldn't answer my calls, and so the way I finally tracked her down was we were, I was in traffic behind her, and she got pulled over, and I was like, this is my chance, so I went up to the car, and I was like, excuse me, officer, and I was like, Kate, what's the big idea, you know, not going to be on Broadway Bar, and she said to me that I told Tina that I don't, I, know Tina. I don't know a Tina either. <laughs> but that I told Tina that I, I witnessed Kate murdering somebody in Canada. <laughs> and I was like, I don't even, I hardly know Tina. I feel like she hardly knows me. Or maybe she really knows me, guys. I don't even know. We should sing a song. We should really what sing else? a song. I need some more water. Okay, we're going to sing a song. And it's actually not a joke song, which is weird because I always sing songs about strippers and, you know, math. So, <laughs> well, I'm going to real song, guys. Real song.